I just got something that I've been looking for for about 25 years, and I, I'm like giddy, basically. So roll the intro, let's look at the purchase. So I had a friend contact me and they wanted to sell their Pokemon cards. They sent me some pictures. The pictures I got were really bad quality. Thank you iPhone for not being willing to work with Android. We're not going to talk about that. But the pictures I got, I could barely distinguish what it was. He wanted to sell them and so I went ahead and went over and purchased them. So I'll show you guys quickly what we got. So we got this binder, the Pikachu binder. And then we got this bag. He said it's uh, energies and trainers, which I haven't looked through this at all. And then there's like four more pages of cards. I'm not gonna disclose what I paid. I wanna go ahead and look through it with you all. Like I said, I haven't looked through this. And he said this was energies, but I'm looking at it and it's there's definitely some trainers in here too. So just like quickly gonna get, go through here. Let's zoom in a little bit. So. It does look like it's mostly energies, but there's some trainers, obviously. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've seen that. Um, yeah, there's some Pokemon in here. Glad I didn't just put this in the energy pile. Um, looks like they're kind of organized. Maybe the rest of these are mostly energies. There's some trainers. Uh, I'll have to look closer at these, see if there's anything actually interesting in there. Though, I will say that uh, trainers do actually seem to have a little bit of value. Uh, let's see. We got a Misty's Wrath. Sabrina's Gaze. Sort of interesting ones. And then... There were quite a few non-energies in there few um neo sets i like this machoke quite a bit it's in pretty good condition for it being in a ziploc bag and a bunch of trainers nothing too crazy and then we'll go through the pikachu binder there's nothing crazy in here though i thought these were interesting i'm curious like what these were from i'm guessing they were like cereal and then there's some crappy sleeves I've never seen those. I doubt they have value, but maybe a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out just cause uh, with binders, you never know what's behind them. And that's gonna be relevant whenever we get into the last binder. So far, these are all pretty normal. Base set two, jungle, fossil, uh, Neo. And then I think there were some, yeah, there's a Japanese in there. Pikachu, uh, Japanese. That probably has like a small amount of value. First edition fossil. Again, nothing crazy. But make sure you guys stay around. We're gonna get into the other binder in just a sec. There is some amazing cards in there. So far, it's pretty much been single cards in here. Also, if you guys ever get binders like this, there's like all the starters from different generations as well. If you're not keeping them, you should definitely sell them on eBay. I think they tend to go for like 20 plus dollars. I think I sold the Charizard one I had for like 40. You know, you got the Charizard tax. A nice uh, first edition card. These are all pretty like common cards for vintage. I'm just making sure there's no duplicates because you never know what's behind it. Got a nice little uh, War Turtle. Ooh, we got a... Um, Pikachu, nice, uh, another War Turtle from base set two. Charmeleon, right on. And then I'm gonna sleeve this up, Pikachu promo. I'm not sure if I have the card, but if not, I mean, it's probably still like a $5 card. So we'll throw that in a sleeve. Dark Vaporeon, everyone loves that card. Tangela, we're done with that. I looked through it as I was pulling it. I didn't see anything crazy. There might have been like a shadow list or something. Sometimes that sneaks by me. Yeah, that's pretty normal stuff. Charmeleon from base set. That's nice. 
I've gotten a lot of, you know, vintage cards lately, so there's not as much excitement, I guess, from getting these. However, it's going to get exciting. We got those four uh, pages that were out. Uh, I think when I looked, uh, these all look pretty standard. I thought I saw a shadowless, but I'm not seeing anything right now. These all look like energies. Uh, I got a first edition Psyduck. It's always nice. First edition Shelter and Ekans. I thought I saw a, sh a shadowless. Maybe I just missed it. Because I don't think there's backs. Oh well, not that big of a deal. But now, we get to the exciting portion. So, you organize the binder by the Pokedex. So when you open it up, you got the starters. And we have the base set Charizard. It's not in good condition, which is super unfortunate. However, it's a base set Charizard. And I do not have one. And there's another card behind it. I'm not sure what that is. We'll take a look. We're going to put it in a sleeve, though. We have a base set Charizard. And yes, I could go on eBay. I could go on TCG Player. I can go buy this card whenever I want. But I don't want to just buy this card. I want to pull it or find it. And I did. So this is going to go in my base set binder. And it's the last card I believe I need. But let's look through the rest of the binder because I know there's some other hollows. The way he organized this, we're going to pull the Venusaur out too. Uh, it's got a little scratching. Uh, you can see right on the face. Uh, it actually looks way worse on camera. You can see right there. It looks way worse on camera. We'll put that in a sleeve. Nice and beautiful. And then we got a Dark Blastoise. It would have been so nice if there was a base set Blastoise in there, but there's not, and that's okay. But overall, it's actually, compared to everything, compared to those two, it's in very good condition, so still sleeve it up. Here's the other thing. I'm gonna de deconstruct a lot of the binder. So he would stack them. If he has more than one Squirtle, so Rocket and base set, or base set two, he would stack them. I don't want to flip the page yet because I don't know what's behind it. I got a Dark War Turtle, War Turtle, and a Crocona. Okay, I'm not sure why, but it's in there. And then we'll check behind the Charmeleon. There is just a Charmeleon. Charmander probably has, uh, yeah, a Rocket, Bulbasaur. We got a Japanese Bulbasaur. Always nice. Let's see if there's anything behind the Ivysaur. Just the Ivysaur. All right, now we'll go on to the next page. All right. So, we got a Caterpie, Metapod. I think all of these seemed like they were single cards. Yep. This is what happens whenever you sell me a binary, deconstruct it. Oh, we got two Pidgeys, so we have base set and Japanese base set. Wow, that is crazy, the color difference. I don't know if this is like sun fading because it's also not mint condition, but the color is so different. We got a Pidgeotto and a Pidgeot. Uh, I'd probably say light to medium play. There's not a, it's not too bad, but not gonna complain about it. We got Pikachu. Let's see. It'd be really nice if there were red cheeks. Uh, we got the Japanese one. Ooh, we got the promo. That's nice. I think I have that one. Jungle and base set yellow cheeks. That's okay. I do want to sleeve up that promo. Pretty sure I have this, but not a hundred percent sure. Uh, Lieutenant Surgeon's Ratatata, Ratatata, and. I don't think I realized there were two of them. Moving on. We got a Dark Raticate and Raticate. Hoping that there's like uh, some Shadowless or be really cool if there just happened to be something else. Spiro. Yeah, like how there's a Crocona behind the War Turtles. The Firo. Uh, first edition, which is nice. A Jungle Firo. 
And there's some other hollows in here, and there should be some really good ones. Ekans. See, we got an Arbok. Let's see what's behind the right shoe. I think it's just the right shoe. And we got Brock's Sand Shrew. Oh, two Brock's Sand Shrew. Very cool. All right, we got two hollows on this page. The Sand Slash, just one. Giovanna's Nidoran, Giovanni's Nidorina. Uh, we got a nice Nido Queen uh, from base set. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Let's see, we got a. Oh, we got two. Uh, Nidoran and Giovanni's Nidoran. This one's got two behind it as well. Pocket Monster Nidorino from base set, Japanese, and then Giovanni's Nidorino. We have a Nido King from. Base set two. Mission's pretty good on that. There's a little scratching on it. Crease down here at the bottom. And then back, back's definitely got some whitening. whitening. We have a Clefairy from Neo. We got a Clefable. Very cute. All right. We got Vulpix, Japanese. Vulpix, Blaine's Japanese Vulpix. And then we got a Beautiful nine tails from base set two. Love that. Uh, let's see. Jiggly. Ooh. Like that. We got a wiggly. Uh, man, it's got a crazy crease on it. Or not crease, but indention. All right. A bunch of card stuffed in here. All right. We got Zubat uh, from Rocket, Zubat from Fossil, and Brock Zubat. From Gem Leaders, I believe. Yeah, Gold Bat. Ooh. Hollow Gold Bat. And a Brox Gold Bat. Definitely didn't know the Dark Gold Bat was in there. That should have been on the front. Who doesn't want the Hollow on the front? We got an Oddish and an Oddish. I don't see anything different there, so. Alright, we got Dark Gloom, Gloom. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever seen this card. Japanese Neo. Really miscut, too. And we got a Dark Violet Plume. Nice. We got a Paris. Parasect. Venonat. And a Sabrina's Venonat, Japanese. Venomoth. A Diglett. Rocket Diglett. Doug Trio. Giovanni's Meowth. Giovanni's Meowth. Try, try not to take up y'all's entire night. Persian, Dark Persian, and a Persian. Must have just had duplicates. Psyduck, we got three cards. We have Misty Psyduck, Psyduck, and Psyduck. Golduck, we got a first edition in the front. Let's see. A Sabrina's Golduck, that's beautiful. And a Dark Golduck. And then next we have Brock's Mankey and Brock's Mankey, Brock's Primate, First Edition Primate, and a Dark Primate, uh, Blaine's Growlithe and Growlithe. And then we have an absolute killer find, Br Blaine's Arcanine with an Arcanine behind it. Absolutely beautiful card. And honestly... The condition is probably light play. I think there's a little whitening at the bottom. Wild. Absolutely beautiful card. I don't even think I have that. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, next we got a couple of polywags. We got polywirl. Misty's polywirl and polywirl. I didn't see any shadowless. Polyrath. I'm not sure that I have this in my binder. Definitely double check on that. All right, we got Abra and Abra from base set two. All right, let's see. That Victory Bell or Weeping Bell is what's got a sleeve on it. All right, we got a Kadabra, beautiful, and then an absolute beautiful card. We got Alakazam. 
Love, 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 love that card. Killer. A Machop first edition. Giovanni's Machop and a Neo. We got a couple of Machoke cards in here. Light Machoke, Machoke from base set, and Giovanni's. And then, yes, we do have a, a Champ, and there's three. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I definitely didn't know that was in there. This is way more exciting than the first edition. Japanese Machamp. Uh, let's see if you can see that swirl. See that swirl right above his hand. Beautifully placed. I'll probably say that is light play. That's exciting. Super exciting. Now, I knew there was going to be some hidden treasures in here. And we got Machamp first edition. These still do have a little bit of value, but these are like the worst first editions to get. And we got a light Machamp, which sure i have i really need to go through and finish some binders we got erica's bell sprout and then the weeping bell i'm not sure why that was in a sleeve uh we got a victory bell first edition misty's tentacool and a tentacool we got tentacruel here let's move on to geodude we got first edition Brox, and then a regular. Graveler, just one. And then we got a Golem. Blaine's Ponyta. Nice Japanese base set. I knew there would be some surprises. I think the Machoke and the Golbat are the only ones that are surprising thus far. Dark, uh, Dark Rapidash. Here's if there's anything else. Slowpoke. I just like never know when there's like two. Dark Slowbro. Ooh, a first edition Slowbro. Nice. Magnemite. Uh, Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite and a base set to Magnemite. Let's see. Ooh, we got a Magneton Hollow. Nice and pretty. Uh, definitely has some edge wear. It's got edge wear, like there's not really anything else wrong with it. Let's see, we got a Farfetch'd, just the one. The duo's got a couple. We got a Dodrio Seal, just the one. Dugong has got two. I like that du light Dugong, that's really nice. And then base set, that light du Dugong is so pretty. Grimer, just the one. Dark muck just the one and let's see shelter and a fossil shelter we got a oh blank page okay uh we got a cloister uh sabrina's ghastly ghastly neo ghastly nice sabrina's haunter I would love for there to be a surprise behind this one. Okay, it's just the one. We got Sabrina's Gengar. I love this card. I love that card. Onyx, just the one. Sabrina's Drowsy, Drowsy, and a Drowsy. Hollow Hypno, uh, I would probably say like medium play on that. Krabby, Kingler. All right, we got Lieutenant Surge, Voltorb, Electrode. I don't think there's a hollow Electrode. Yes. Oh, there is uh, Jungle. But we got all three non-hollows. Execute. And Erica's Execute. Cubone. Marowak. I feel like they haven't made a Marowak card in a long time. Ooh, there's two Hitmonlee cards. What would the other one be? Unless it's a duplicate. Oh, from Neo. I like that card. Some of the artwork in the Neo sets are just so good. We got a Hollow Hitmonchan. Beautiful. Probably light play on that. Got a little warping, but that doesn't affect condition. A uh, Lickitung. And not all the pages are full towards the end. And we're almost through the Pokedex. So we got Coughing. Wheezing. Ooh, Koga's Wheezing. Very nice. Rocks Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn. Let's see. Chansey Hollow would be nice. Right on. Nope, just the one. Tangela. Alright, next we got a 
Apollo. King is gone. Terrible condition. Look at all those scratches. That's okay. I'll still be able to sell it. Someone will buy it eventually. We got a Misty Cedra. Or Misty's Horsey. And then we have a Cedra. Misty's Golding. And a Japanese Golding. Uh, sea King. Star you. Got a couple of Starmies. Uh, Starmie. Starmie. Oh, base set and base set too. And a Misty Starmie. Got a Mr. Mime. A Scyther. I love this card. I wish this was first edition. I really like that card. Jinx. Electabuzz. And a... Oh, we got two Magmars. We got Magmar. Ooh. Neo. I really like the Neo sets. Pinsir. Tauros. Uh, Misty's Magikarp. And a Magikarp. And then we got a, another Hollow. We got Gyarados. From base set. Probably medium play. Let's see. Is there anything behind the Lapras? Nope. Hollow Ditto would be really nice. I don't think there's anything crazy with Eevee. Yep. Just Japanese. And then we got a Hollow Vaporeon. And a non hollow Vaporeon. And a Dark Vaporeon. I don't think I remember there being a non hollow Vaporeon. Definitely take it regardless. But there is the hollow Vaporeon. It's probably light to medium play. Got a light Jolteon. Beautiful, beautiful card. Let's see what we got on the back side. Uh, Dark Flareon, first edition. I'll take that. Ooh! A light, a light Flareon. That's a beautiful card. Got a Porygon. Porygon and... I don't... And sometimes I forget artwork. Uh, that's a beautiful card. Ammonite. I know some of these cards aren't going to have anything crazy, but you never know. We got Amistar. Just the one. Kabuto. Let's see. Kabutops. Just the one. Aerodactyl. Hollow Snorlax. Not in great condition, but it's fine. And then a Articuno First Edition. Definitely take that. Speaking of legendary birds, we got a uh, Zapdos. Not Moltres. Um, medium play on that, too. Moltres. Just the one. Got a Dratini. And a Dratini from Rocket. Dragonair. And a Dark Dragonair. A lot of people really like this artwork. These could be big ones if there's anything behind them. Okay, there's not. It's got a Dragonite. A Mewtwo. Let's see if this will come off. There we go. Look at that. The Goat. Love it. Condition is not great. Let's see if you can see the wave. There's like a wave right here. That's okay. Still love it. Got the Mew promo. People love that card. I like it. I think I like the Ancient Mew more. Chikorita. All right, what do we got on the back side? Cyndaquil. Ooh, it's two Cyndaquils. Let's see, show you guys it. Quillava, Japanese. Totodile, first edition. We'll take that. And a Crocona. Hoot Hoot. A Lediba. Ooh, we got two of them. Both of them from Neos. I just call them Neo sets because I don't remember which is which. Spinarak, first edition, like that. Chinchow, Lantern. And then on the back, we have a Mareep and a Flaffy. And then if you're looking ahead, we have an Ampharos, first edition. Beautiful card. Not in mint condition. Honestly, I would probably classify it as, man, it's right on the edge of light to medium play. There's just a little edge where right up at the top from being in the top of a binder. We have a Meryl. Let's see, we have a light Azumarill. Beautiful card. I would probably say that's near mint. I'm not gonna say that would be like PSA 10 quality, but I would still call it near mint. Uh, all right, what do we got on the back? 
We got a light sun flora. We're almost at the end. Sun kern. Let's see. Uh, Wooper. And a Quagsire. I like that card. I don't find a whole lot of Neo cards nowadays. Gligar. Unknown. That's nice. Some of the unknown cards are more uncommon. Snubble. Teddy Ursa. Alright, we have one more big card I know is in here. Uh, Swinub and a Swinub. That's a really pretty card. Dark Mag Cargo. A Slugma. We got the Entei promo from the movie. These are really common, but still cool. I'll still save it. I still think they sell like three or four dollars. We got a Dark Hound Doom. This is such a beautiful card. I would say condition is probably light play. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful card. And then there are some cards shoved in the back of the binder, so we're gonna take a look at those real quick. But yeah, absolutely stellar. I hope there's no hollows, but I kinda hope there are. Also, it says Eric Neely in the back, and he had no idea who that was, so. That's a little sketch. All right, let's see what we got back here. We got a Psyduck, Gligar, Abra, Pikachu. Let's see. Nothing crazy. Ooh, band card. Take that. Just kind of like commons on commons. Kind of trying to check for shadow list, but I haven't seen any shadow list. Heal power, that's cool. But yeah, I think that's it. He gave me a really good deal. I asked him to shoot me an offer of what, how much he wanted, and I agreed to it. I mean, it was a good buy, regardless. Because ultimately, like, he, they were just sitting. Uh, there is a little damage on the Moo Moo Milk, unfortunately, but just to give you guys an idea, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 hollows out of this. Absolutely killer. All the fire types are like really good fire type cards to have. Like that right there is a killer lineup of cards dark hound doom charizard base set and a blaine's arcanine it's unfortunate the charizard is like not in better condition but i love it it's staying with me this is probably staying with me because i don't think i have it and i think this is also staying with me but the rest of the hollows will cover it i think i have a base set charizard or a base set venusaur i think i have the rest of these hollows i just have to double check i'm not sure about those two uh, but I think I'm adding at least six more hollows to my collection. They will be in a future video. They'll be right here. I'm going to split the, the bookcase in half and add another one just for the binders. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this video or how I did. I already know how you guys think of it. If you are watching it, you like Pokemon cards, so you probably like this. Just tell me that it's awesome that I got the Charizard because that's all I care about. This is the search. This is what I've been looking for. This has been what I've wanted. I didn't have one as a kid. I have one now as a 30 year old man. So, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in another one. Bye.